Hey, what's up? Pastor Ron here. Listen, this world is upside down. And I truly believe we're living in the end times, in prophetic times. And I want to share with you four indicators or four signs that we are in our last days. Let's talk. Welcome back. Thank you again for watching. Please, while I have your attention, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to share. I am trying to get this good news out to as many folks as possible. And if you love good and relatable Christian content, this is the place for you. So we have four signs, four signs that the end is near, four signs that we are living in. In prophetic time number one a growth in lawlessness and immorality a growth in lawlessness and immorality if you look all across this globe whatever country whatever city the amount of immorality the amount of people indulging in sin has grown it is more prevalent it is it, folks are unapologetic for it and not only do you see it in the world, we also see it in church, certain things you see on the pulpit, certain words being said in church, certain things that are being done in church are indicators that God is near. Matthew 24 talks about it, about the fact that in the last days there will be an increase in immorality. God is coming back. And when he comes back, I pray that he could find a world that is pure, a church that is pure. But this is this is an indicator that, that God is coming back soon. This is an indicator that God that his return is close. You see murder, you see mass shootings, you see all the, the perverse type of things, sexual things on social media, in the churches, on on these websites. God is coming back. Number two, the second reason why we think the Lord is coming back soon. Wars. An increased talks of wars. One of these things, again, in Matthew 24, when Christ had a discourse about the signs of the end of age, one of the things he said is that we will see an increase in war. And if you look at CNN, Fox News, Newsmax, MSNBC, you see a lot of discussion of war. This world is not in peace. Between this seemingly never-ending Russia and Ukraine war, you see how North Korea, South Korea, other countries are mobilizing n nuclear weapons. You see all that's going on in, in the Middle East, in Africa. There is war rampant all across the world. And this is an indicator that God is coming back. And and one of the reasons why, why the Lord said, listen, it'll, be, it'll get so bad. And even the elect might fall away if I don't cut the day short. There'll be so much war, and, and I'm personally at a point where I'm tired of hearing about war. I'm tired of hearing about um, this country getting these missiles ready, etc. I'm tired of hearing about that because that indicates that God is coming back soon. Number three, the gospel is spreading. The Bible says in, in Matthew 24 that one of the indicators that we are in the last, last days is is that the word of God has gone through all the corners of the earth. God is such a loving God and a fair God. He wants to make sure that every single person gets the opportunity to meet Jesus Christ. And with the, the advent of cell phones, of, again, social media, you can't log on to, to, to anyone's page without having seeing a verse or a sermon. Um, so you see so much of that and you see the increase in missionaries. They're being raised up and going all across the globe to share the gospel. The word of God is getting out. And once all the corners of the globe have access to the word of God, are, are exposed to the word of God, that means that God's near. Number four, we are in a cashless society. And this has been a long time coming. But it's even more evident post-COVID, where we've, we've actually coined the term cashless society. Let's, let's, let's think about this. First, it was direct deposit. My mom, 
um, until her very last day on this earth, never got direct to polish. Every paycheck she received was a paper check. She went to her job. She went to the bank, cashed her check, put money in the bank. And she always said, hey, Ron, listen, I am not going to take part in the market of beasts and direct deposit is the market of beasts. I'm not saying all that now, but I think this was the first step to get us to where we at. Then we have self-checkout. Then we have uh, being able to pay with our phones. Why are these things important? Because the the Antichrist, which will be, will be there in a great tribulation, one thing that he will have is that it will be a cash society where you're able to pay with the market of beast. What is the market of beast? Either a microchip or barcode on your forehead and your forearm. These will be the only way that you can pay. However, prior to receiving these marks, you must pledge allegiance to the Antichrist. And now with self-checkout, you come and you scan um, from having credit cards to now credit cards on your phone. And you, you, you'll find other companies and countries that actually have microchips, even in dogs nowadays. This is a sign that we are becoming more and more cashless. How many times have you left your house without your wallet, but all you need was your cell phone? How many times have you left your house without cash? I don't, I don't know the last time I carried around cash. We have become a cashless society. COVID accelerated that. During that time, folks could not even use cash in stores. They had no change for us. And I'm not saying for you, for you, that using self-checkout, direct deposit, I'm not saying scanning, scanning your phone, paying with your Apple Pay is demonic. I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying is that these things are paving the way for the Antichrist slash market of beasts. And these things will occur at the end of time. So I just shared four things, four things that is showing us and pointing to the return of Christ. The good thing about it is we don't have to care when Christ is coming back. All we got to do is, is, is be ready because in actuality, every time someone passes away, Christ comes back for them. So our goal who, who's still our goal, the goal for us who's still here is to make sure whenever that day, if I get raptured, if I pass away, whatever happens that I'm ready to meet the Lord. That is the key. And when these things happen, don't stress, don't worry, because God shared this with us, let us know that he's aware and he's still God. And that because he's God, he's a God in the past, present, and future, he's going to take care of us. He's going, he's going to create provision for us. So don't worry, our God is in control. I pray this video has blessed you. You learned something. Again, if you have and you love amazing, relatable Christian content, this is the place for you. So subscribe, comment. If I left anything out, share your thoughts. I want to know what's going on. If you can't write a sentence, drop me an emoji. I speak emoji. But thank you for watching. I appreciate you. I love you. God bless you. Peace.